Oops. I just pulled my webcam down. Uh, does it still work? Oh, uh, just a second. Yeah, it still works. What up? Track of this. Where's the next one here? Okay. This is the... Okay, there we go. Alright, we'll watch one more, okay? We'll watch one more. All right, dead minds and naked gnomes. Last time, our hero was trapped deep in Horde territory yep. at merely Sad. level 19. You might recall the Oh wait, before I do this, I need another tank. If there's a tank that will help us with UBRS, please let me know. Uh, I need another tank for uh, for my warlock. If somebody wants to come in here and help us out, message me or Court Jester, and uh, we can start this up. Comment of self-doubt and absolute fear of failure. Okay. But I pushed through. Where the fuck do you go at level 19? Because I realized Good just question. how far I've come. When I started out, I had nothing. Now, I've turned up the graphic settings, okay. and I have a cape. And you have wow. to have come upon a glorious occasion. He's a serious you player see, now, time okay. I tuffle with the first major dungeon in our journey. A serious. Spend enough time in Azeroth, and you learn to improvise, adapt, and overcome. In the situation you're witnessing, many would make the mistake of helping the fellow Alliance player. I, the what intellectual, molded by countless deaths, knows that the only means to an end is getting gear, gear, and lots That's of right. gear. That's right. Fuck everybody Instead else and get everything for, biscuit, for yourself. I make sure to loot this rusty chest for any goods. Yeah, I don't think he knew that was an NPC. <laughs> yeah, he had no idea that was a fucking NPC. 25 copper and a broken lock. I make off like a bandit. Mm -hmm. In this game, you gotta know when to be a hero and when to look out for number one. On the surface, always. Azeroth is adventurous oh, always. and That's splendid, what... but in reality, it's a sociopolitical nightmare RP sandbox. You never know what foolish fuckery you might run into. You may, in fact, spontaneously combust. Now, mm -hmm. the Horde Gang was expected, but imagine my Two surprise people. when I resed the spirit healer just to be met by Helkular's remains. A mob so much stronger than oh me that I see a skull instead of its level. A oh mob boy. who will chase you down and make you his bitch. Yep. You may be surrounded by horde scum what a game, and have boys. them grant you mercy what a fucking if you game. wave back. Just to get smacked in the back of the head by a troll two minutes later. <laughs> this fucking psychopath just hit me a couple times and watched okay. me get mauled by a wolf. And it is in fact not unusual to have an orc moonwalk on your corpse. As you can imagine, I grew weary of Ashenvale quickly. I took the yeah, hearthstone back why. to Darnassus. Take note of the high level spinning technique that my WoW GF taught me. By the way, she hasn't spoken to me in weeks. I would the meta for hearthstoning is not actually to spin around in a circle it's to jump right as the cast ends so you hearth out while you're in the air that's that's the way you actually do it and uh it's a little bit harder to pull off now because of the spell batching but that's what good players do now you can do both though uh yeah but it's like it's just too many too many too many keyboard movements like uh yeah you can't do that I didn't have long to dwell no. on it though. Because before no. leaving Darnassus, I was swiftly disconnected, courtesy of Blizzard's patented gruesome Thanks, servers. Blizzard. After the brief intermission, our journey to Westfall began. I sailed to Darkshore, and from there to Menethil Harbor. Along the way, I pondered life's greatest questions. Why does dual wielding give you a 19% mischance? Why did I choose Nogginfogger for the what name instead of the server my friends play? What do you mean, why does it give you a mischance? Are you fucking kidding? Go pick up two fucking swords and try to hit something over and over and over that's moving around. Like, you're gonna miss all the time. Like, trust me, I've done it. Like, I have stick- I'm like swinging sticks around all the time in the backyard whenever I was a kid. Trust me, dual wielding does give you a 19% hit- hit miss chance. Like, yeah, it does. Like, you have a two-handed weapon, you can hit him every time. Why did I it get invited to the Nogger Nations Guild? Why did I accept? Are robots gonna take all our jobs? How will we combat climate change, no. overpopulation, and deal with the threat of AI? When will China start World War III? Why does White Monster with Rosé Wine actually fucking bang? Boomer juice, by the way. Then I flew to Stormwind. And from Stormwind, I traveled on foot to Westfall. When I arrived oh at my final destination, Sentinel Hill... Sentinel... I might actually True. break my fucking monitor. Sentinel... I can relate. Sentinel Hill. You did it. There it is, I began a series of grueling tasks known as the Dead Mind's Quest Chain. 
Not difficult in the slightest, just fucking horrid. First I've gotta kill this guy who can be anywhere from here to here patrolling. Mind you, there's lots of people in this quest and you're more likely to run into his corpse. That picture was then wrong. I travel halfway across the world to deliver a letter. There's literally a mailing system in this world, so I don't see why that would ever be necessary. By the way, it's four letters, not one. And it's That's back and spinning, forth huh? in different places. Holy Follow shit. that up with an escort mission. This is where he's about to and do deadlines. have the unholy trifecta of gruesome game mechanics. That's not bad. Yeah, now pay not. close attention, to right. 1.20 a.m. I met Mike Miller and mm. bought 40 loaves of Prime bread. Time. It was at this point that I was ready to bust down the deadmines dungeon. Now the question is, how did I end up at 4.20 a.m. still not having completed the dungeon Jeez. at a naked gnome twerk party of all oh places? <sighs> well, this is what happened. First, we got a group together that seemed to have a oh decent God, shot. Dude. We had a tank, a healer, That's it was ridiculous. good times, happy vibes, and smiles all around. We yeah. started making our That's way nice. into the dead mines, just before good. the weekly realm restart. What I would consider to be our first crucial mistake. Wait, does that mean that it took- oh wait, no, never mind. Never mind. We decided to meet up again in half an hour. When we all logged on, our tank okay. Glowin was missing, and a paladin offered wow, to be Wow, what a fifth. surprise. Without hesitation, People don't come I invited back after the server to reset. the party. Two minutes later, our tank came online and said that he was on the way. Our group was in disarray, unsure okay. how to proceed, and in need of leadership. They looked to me for guidance. I suggested a democratic vote, and to quote myself, he spelled democratically I vote we right, just I think. do it with the wow. current party, because I'm a bit of a cunt. This yeah. was our second crucial mistake. You see, Glowin was loyal and determined, strong yeah. but gentle. Fock, on the other hand, was an irredeemable bastard. He needed for the blue drop even though it wasn't an upgrade for him. Got yeah, it, it is. then proceeded to pull an entire room of mobs, get our oh. whole party killed, and immediately leave us with no tank yeah, fuck, at 4 a.m. This was the yeah, karma we idiot. got for turning our backs on Glowin. Now, naturally, so I, I wonder if there's gonna be like people out there like this video, like whoever Fock is on Nogginfogger, this video will follow him and haunt him for the rest of his classic WoW career. There'll be people like in Nax that are like, hey dude, fuck! Oh dude, I remember you, man. You're that dumbass that fucked up that dead mines run in that video, dude. What's up, man? Yeah, no, we don't have a spot for you though. Yeah, no, no, we don't have a spot. No, of course not. Some would argue that I could have tanked. But I wanted to dual wield with a 19% mischance, so you can see why that wasn't on the table. It was here late at damage. night that Hellmistress and I got to know each other. We had a hell of a good time waiting for the rest of the party. Our Chad Warlock Ninpu sat down to enjoy the show, and he had but one thing to say. So who do we invite? Very good question. I yeah. pulled in the only alpha male in sight for a private show in the minecart. You gotta do what you gotta do to keep the party together at 4am. Even oh, if boy. that means saving Azeroth with your ass. I knew I was killing it when he uttered, Maximum Comfy. Oh, Not long after, our gnome Avery overreached and presumed that he like... could take a front row seat. I immediately scolded him and told him to know his place. When he then rudely requested that Hellmistress danced for him up close, I immediately oh, knew man. that we were gonna have a like, fucking what? problem here. We stripped him naked and oh. made him dance for our amusement. Oh. Hail to the night. Admittedly, listen. This kind of stuff that people do in these games, I'm sorry, man, but I can't get into it. Like, I, I just, I can't get, like, I'm such an asshole. Like, it's fun. I hate fun. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but I see people that are like, oh, let's just sit around and talk. I'm like, bitch, we gotta clear the dungeon. Shut the fuck up. Like, I'm, we're not here for fun, man. I'm here for loot. And, and like, that's the first thing I do. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I guess I'm an asshole. I, it's, I don't think it's a boomer thing at all. I think that boomers are the ones that play the game like that. Oh, let's just sit back and relax and just enjoy the game and have fun and, you know, just play wow. Uh, no, it's not boomers at all. I think it's the opposite. He was a pretty good gesture, Fun yeah, although you're right. that didn't stop Hellmistress from leaving due to the severe social misstep by the gnome scum. Luckily, she was easily replaceable. Then an hour passed, and we had yet to find a tank. We were collectively about to give Holy up, shit. but then Muffy appeared out of nowhere, as sent from the heavens. 5 a.m., cock in hand, 
ready to rumble. We were gonna give Dead Minds a third shot. What Five in the fucking was morning, nothing dude. less Holy than perfection. Shit. We all knew this was the last run of the night. Our final opportunity okay. to not feel like we just wasted our lives to watch a gnome twerk. Okay. Then came the moment okay. of pre-traumatic stress disorder, also known as anxiety, when we opened the door to the room we wiped in, which we then obliterated with calculated primal fucking hatred. The game actually has elements of genuine strategy at this point. Having played for over 50 hours, I realized the experience of standing and hitting has actually improved by a significant margin. I'd love to tell you a little about the lore of this dungeon and the Defiance gang. It's more than honest, standing and hitting. I didn't pay attention, not even a little bit. No. These guys are also Fuck in Hearthstone, Who cares? Though, so I reckon that's probably where the devs took inspiration from. Then we find 50 hours at level 19. To level 22, maybe now. 50 hours. I think this guy and my mom should have a leveling contest. I, I really think I, I, I don't know who would win. I, I, I really am not sure who would win. My mom, in order to get level sixty in WoW, fifty days slash blade. Fifty days. She, her, she had a high. She had a hundred more days than I did back in vanilla WoW and Burning Crusade and Wrath. She had a hundred more days, Ronnie King, a hundred more days more slash played than me. It took me expansions to catch up to her. She was just having fun? Yeah, well, she was making money. She had the equivalent of like 25 million gold in, in Classic WoW. She was able to buy multiple people. Uh, she she lent me the money and also just bought Zach his epic flying mount back in Burning Crusade. Like, she was rich as fuck. Find gunpowder and bust down this door with a massive cannon. You there! Check out that noise! And that's when we hear Mr. Smite for the first time. Slowly but surely, we methodically take out all the things in the way of my goal, completing my first dungeon. I can taste it. When you walk it's up exciting. on Mr. Smite, you get ambushed. Now, for a casual group of WoW enthusiasts, this part yeah. is actually rather difficult, but ah. for a group of war-hardened fucking animals up at 5 a.m., it yeah. really is benign and laughable. Notice the perfect coordination. <laughs> I aggro the two mobs, and the healer focuses on keeping me alive, while Muffy takes on the big guy. They have no fucking idea the what they're doing. Weaklings, and then focus the full blunt force yep. of our emotional instability on the Don, the big cheese, Mr. Smite, also canonically referred to as Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide! Oh, please. No, you're making oh, me angry. Now he's angry, so he pulls out the ultimate weapon, Smite's Hammer. Something he should have done from the beginning rather than right before dying. But I digress. Yeah, Against probably. all odds, the hammer actually oh. fucking drops. And Need. I can tell it's a Need. massive stat upgrade for me. Need. Now let me explain how item drops work in dungeons. You can either greed, on all of them. Need, That's how they or work. pass. Need. If all five players greed, each of them roll a number. Uh -huh. And the one with the highest number gets the drop. Yes. If any players need, then it's a roll between those players, because that yes. takes priority. Yes. One by one, I saw all my comrades in good faith press greed and not need. There I stood, with the power in my hands. Any it greeters? was up to me. Any I'd greeters? never had a blue item before. Do it. And the choice was mine. It was so tempting, yet I recall a promise I made to need myself it, a long time bitch. ago. That I would need live a kind, it, humble life of self-reflection and morality. I press greed. And with absolute <laughs> vengeance and fury, roll a 72 to receive Smite's oh. hammer. Now, I'm not a salty loser, but I am okay. one hell of a right. cunty winner. I make sure to inform yep. the others that he who greets as the fifth man has a good heart. Yeah. As we make our way up to the final Let challenge, know is better Edwin than Van Cleef. Actually, it's That's at Karma, this very obviously. moment that the game starts playing Jornio's theme. I'm pleasantly surprised they licensed that into WoW Classic, but it definitely hypes you up it's for incredible. the final battle. After blowing him a kiss and waving at him, it's okay. time to stop the fun time happy hour and enter go Beat his dick Now off. I knew shit was going sideways when Mafi fell. When the mobs then started targeting our healer, I did the only sensible- Can I, can I go back? I want to look at how many stacks he has for retaliation there. Where is it? Him a kiss and waving uh, at I want to see his it's retaliation time to stacks. Stop the fun time happy hour and enter go mode. Now I knew- 30 stacks. So he used retaliation? It literally did nothing. He might as well have just had arcane intellect. Like, 30 stacks with two seconds left. Retaliation literally did nothing. Amazing.
Shit was going sideways when Mafi fell. When the mobs then started targeting our healer, I did the only sensible thing. Ignore it entirely and focus on the boss. Of course. I managed to take Obviously. him down while our healer got slaughtered. But I'm an optimist. I can always see the positive side. Yeah. Like how the gnome scum fell shortly after. <laughs> it was then up to me and our Chad Warlock. Who Jump actually, on the now wheel. Now that I look back at the footage, he's got is a... a rogue and not a warlock. Oh, but yeah. I'm not doing it over. It's besides the point. Whatever. There fuck. is that. It's up to me and Nimpu. The higher intellect yeah, of the group who dual wield one-handed weapons with a 19% yeah, mischance. You guys are and I dead. can't think of any reason why our DPS would be inadequate. Surely the healer and tank are at fault for dying here. Finally, Never we mind. prevail. The is caring. Just to see Edvin Van Queef drop a sick set chest piece. Ooh. Ninpu selects need. 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 I select need. Need. Eliatra selects need. Need. And our brainlet gnome player selects greed. <laughs> Ninpu rolls a 10. Eliatra rolls a 69. He's gonna win. Yours truly? Fucking 80! Boom! Oh, I Real knew gamer it. hours! Ninpu says, I knew fuck it. my life and rage Kill me. And there I stood, entirely fulfilled in... Imagine being Ninpu. Imagine sitting there through 5 a.m. dungeon group with four other dipshits that can barely play the game, and you sit there carrying them through the entire fucking run. The last boss finally drops the item that you need, and the warrior who's dual wielding at level 17 wins the fucking roll. <coughs> yeah, and it's leather. Yeah, I'd be pissed. Pure pleasure, waiting for the others to return. Dare I say, Chillin' like a villain. Okay. My comrades return, and we agree to kill the cookie monster. However, I proceed to fall down and aggro all these mobs. The boydem came to the rescue, but I know a losing battle when I see one. Yeah. I make my escape down the only path <laughs> available to me, and run for he my life. He just runs away life. and lets Moffy die. Being chased by goblins, bandits, and murlocs, oh, well. I can't help but feel that I should have been the one to resurrect and walk 15 minutes to my corpse. And they should have been the ones to escape. Yeah, probably. But of course... There's no need yeah. to cry over spilled bit. milk. In World of Warcraft, the day-night cycle is the same as real time, and as I exit the dungeon, I see the sun rising. Oh. See? It's not all that different from real life. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. I hand so. in the dead mines quest and go repair my armor. He doesn't have then take cardboard a small nailed up to over the Iron windows, Forge though. weapons master so that we gamer. can skank out with this new hammer. Oh, By the way, using a weapon class for the first time gives the phrase a swing and a miss a whole new meaning. After testing out Smite's hammer, I went yeah. back to the place that made me realize World of Warcraft is indeed a fucker's game. Ashenvale, the Los Angeles of Azeroth. Game? And from there, I journeyed into uncharted territory. A fucker's game? The Stone game. Talon Mountains. It was time for the Horde shitheads to pay the price of being on the wrong side of history. Okay. I had a blast murdering these fucking losers time and okay. time again. There's nothing quite like seeing a man oh, die. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> here we go again. And walk all the way to his corpse just to get obliterated again. Forcing them to resurrect oh, the spirit no. healer. Breaking He's gonna all die from the die. by 25%. Yep. And providing them with an unfortunate resurrection sickness that oh, makes them 75% no. weaker for 10 minutes. God damn, that dude. That the hammer hits hard. The wow. You get to make what other the people hell? waste so much fucking time. And in a manner yep. that's intensely aggravating. It's fucking sick. Unfortunately for me, I would at this point come to learn that what comes retail? around goes around. The players I'd been talking oh, no. to ended up grouping up and spreading the word of my misdeeds. Considering <laughs> I was the only Alliance player in this area, I now went through beat. retribution of the highest caliber. When wow. leaving the area after numerous Not deaths, surprise. I thought that my peril for the night was over. God, was I wrong. I went into a cursed land oh, known geez. as the Charred Vale. Just to complete man. one simple these quest. Fucking mobs there are the these most four annoying mobs, thing and ever. I gotta kill seven of each. Simple enough, right? No. Except for the fact that the Charred Vale is packed to the Not brim simple. with Horde players. So the experience goes a bit like this. Find and kill one of the mobs, uh -huh. and then I die. Courtesy of some cunt Horde player. Yeah, there is that. Got it. Then I walk all That's the way to my interesting corpse sound effects. and repeat. <laughs> Sometimes the experience is actually Shit. a bit different and varied. Because I'll also just die to the mobs. <laughs> I should have just given up, but for whatever reason, I was That's the horde right there. See that? He's getting the true, the true vanilla WoW experience. Getting killed three on one by the horde. See, you'll never see a horde player engage you in combat unless it's a completely unfair fight. 
Like it's a completely unfair, unbalanced, ridiculously broken, one-sided bullshit fight. But if you ever have people that are, you know, like a 1v1, oh no, they're, they're just going to walk by and wave at you. But whenever they come, this is the worst one. I had this one guy do this. He walked by, he waved at me. Then he comes back with his friend and he kills me with his friend. Like after we were just like, we're, we're friendly. I was like, what up? He's like, what up? And then he just fucking comes back with his friend and kills me. Alliance never do that. Horde always do that. Finishing this godforsaken fucking quest. This guy fucking ate my corpse. But World of Warcraft has really diverse gameplay, you know? You never know if you're gonna die to the Horde gank, or the mobs, or the very Blizzard servers themselves. Oh yeah, there is it that. It took me an hour and a half. I went through this bullshit until 4 a.m. At yep. which point I left the Stone yep. Talon Mountains to never return. Now, you might recall a certain apathy regarding the fact that I can only fight one mob at once. But after 70 hours of game time, you can do this. Die, you fucking murderers. I thought I was going to say something else. Notice how I level up right okay, before good. dying to the last murloc. Ooh, I consider that smart. one of my more precise calculations. Interestingly, I had to play for over 70 hours before being able to take on more than one enemy at a time. And I can't do that very often considering retaliation is on a half hour cooldown. And you might still just fucking die. This is a fucker's game. Yet, it's a fucker's game with one redeeming quality. This gnome wanted to buy an axe off me for one gold. He then realizes mid-trained that he doesn't have one gold at all. I tell Fucking him I'll hold idiot. on to the axe for him until he gets the money. Fucking on the idiot. premise that he takes all his clothes off and fills out the only appropriate function in society for a gnome. Dancing naked for my amusement. <laughs> Did I ever end up selling him the axe? No. Okay. Okay. Alright, listen. These, these videos are actually really good. I, I, I like these a lot. Uh, these are really, really funny videos. I, I, I'm going to be honest. Like these are So people, whenever these videos first came out, a lot of people suggested for me to go ahead and, and watch them. And I kind of was like, I don't know who this is. I don't know what this is. Uh, I just assumed that it was bullshit. But, but these videos are actually really funny. I remember watching the, I think it was like this other guy, Barney, that made videos too. And, and just all of them in general were really fucking funny. So uh, I will, how many of these are there? Let me go ahead and take a look and uh, just double check here. Uh, Welfare on Wednesday. This well, yeah, story. this is Wednesday today, isn't it, right? Next. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it, it must be. Like, I, I don't even know. Uh, but anyway, let me see. What was this here? Ten years of League is also great, too. Yeah, I'm not even sure. Uh, Uber Danger used to make really funny League videos. Well, it's good to see, like, I feel like Classic WoW... And I don't know, like, what is the next, what's the next big MMO that's coming out? Like, what, what is it? Like, what, what is the next big MMO that's coming out? Uh, nothing? Like, Diablo 4? See, like, I don't even know. Like, I, as much as I want to see, like, what the new MMO is, I'm trying to think about, like, what would that even be? The only uh, game that I kind of want to try out is the uh, the Amazon MMO, actually. The uh, Perfect World. Uh, I think that's what it's called, or something like that. And uh, I think that would actually be a good game. But besides that, I can't really see any of these other games that are going to be popular at all. They're just kind of, like, boring in my mind. Uh, you know, like the Shadowlands, Ashes of Creation... I just, I want a new game for me to have stupid experiences on. And I think that's the main thing. And I don't know, like, the only issue is, like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to play a game and, like, have those, like, little small-scale interactions because of my stream, you know? Because with my stream and everything, I kind of have, uh, there's, like, an expectation of, like, what's going to happen and everything. Lord of the Rings MMO coming soon. Uh, new Lord of the Rings.